I'm at the Razer booth at Gamescom 2012, and we're going to look at a few new products. I think the most important product announced this year is the uh, the keyboard. Yeah, keyboard. Uh, this is the Deathstalker Ultimate. Mm -hmm. um, we announced it uh, yesterday at the press conference. So basically, in a nutshell, this is the smartest keyboard you've ever owned. Um, it follows up with, uh, in design-wise, like the Star Wars The Republic yes. keyboard that we announced last year. Uh, basically, after we announced that, many people have been asking us, like, um, will there be a Razer version, a uh, Razer black one? I want a black one. <laughs> so, um, I, I guess we took the, the feedback and actually, you know, since it's really popular, we created um, a Razer version in this case and we launched it this year. So, um, the, it's essentially the same thing, like the Star Wars keyboard, except that it has um, tricolor lighting. Mm -hmm. And obviously, it's all in black. <laughs> and uh, it has the attached wrist rest, like a rubberized wrist rest here. Yes, there was something more. Yeah. yeah. So, um, same thing you get with the Switchblade user interface, which uh, most of you are familiar with, um, on the Razer Blade as well as the Star Wars keyboard. Um, so, basically, uh, you, you have the your keyboard, yeah. to call it that way, yeah. which has the full color lighting. Yeah. Then we have special short distance keys or Chicken I'll, keys, yeah. yeah. Short, short distance. Short. And then the numpad is being replaced by a completely uh, let's display and touchpad screen. Yeah, it's actually what, ten. Can, what can you tell about yeah. that? Yeah. This is what we call the Switchblade user interface. Uh, it's uh -huh. actually a 10 dynamic keys on top. The keys can change to whatever you want to customize it to. The screen at the bottom can be used as a trackpad mm -hmm. to control your mouse movement and it can also use as, be used as a screen to display information and things like that. So um, when it's uh, you know, out of the box, you get many apps like this, like a trackpad app and you know, even numpad, Facebook and YouTube. You can even watch uh, videos like this on um, you see, on, on, on So you can watch there. YouTube? Yeah, you can whatever, basically yeah. watch YouTube if you are slacking off your rate or something like that. So yeah, it's kind of a cool thing. Um, we added into a traditional keyboard format that you can actually you know, use it for other purposes, mm -hmm. not just for gaming, you can do it for social media and your, just basically your whole gaming experience and it improves your gaming experience. And when it comes to new applications, you added a few really interesting small apps yeah. that you can use for yeah. professional gaming in mind. I think for more, the more experienced gamer, more I think that will be yeah. fun, yeah. So um, basically, these 10 apps you see here were available on the Blade and on the Star keyboard until today, when we announced, like, I mean yesterday, when we announced the, the, this new keyboard. We are including a um, few more apps here. Like the first one you can see is the Star Wars The Old Republic Combat Logger, we call it. Mm -hmm. So basically what it does is it takes all the information um, from your party members, your rate, the damage you're doing, you're doing, the healing you're receiving, the threat, and it all um, you know, shuts it out right here so you know uh, how well you're doing, whether you need to change your strategies or not, or, yeah, and basically who is not doing his job. And so It's probably the most important part. Yeah, I guess, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So um, it's quite a useful tool to have. You can even have a report um, you know, at, at the end of every combat. Nice. So that is, uh, I mean, it is really useful for MMO gaming. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we hope to get more and more games under, under you know, the Switchblade UI so we can program more and more things to mm -hmm. do, uh, you know, more game-specific applications. So that's you also have, uh, will be releasing a software development kits so that the community yeah. can input more applications so we, we should be able to expect a lot more fun stuff coming along course, in the course. upcoming months yeah. we announced that along with the keyboard yes, as well yesterday so yeah. um, I mean if you go to our site for the Switchblade UI uh, you can actually um, there's a form for you to apply yeah apply for uh, you know to apply to develop on, on this platform we, we will send you an SDK if we you know if we like your project mm -hmm. and give us a brief description of your project and uh, we might even send you a keyboard for you to like actually you know develop on that on the UI. So to you guys, if you have a really great idea, just be sure to fill in the application yeah. and uh, maybe you'll get a keyword as well. So I think that's a good motivation. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you know the keyword is priced at, I think, $249.99. Yeah. Yeah, just like the Star Wars keyboard. So I think that's a good motivation to think <laughs> up a good idea. Yeah. Um, so what else will we have when it comes to new apps? I think you had a timer as well? Yeah, I had a, I have a game timer here. Um, so if you're familiar with uh, League of Legends, um, mm -hmm. you know, you can have uh, a timer for your creep, creep response. So, uh, I mean, you can actually trigger it like that and then at a, con at a glance you can see, uh, yeah. you know, when, how long, how long have you have left, you know, and whether you should go back there again. Um, it's, it's a sim simple application, but it's very useful yeah, for, 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 yeah, it's for all your games. And you can use it for Battlefield, like when your vehicles are responding mm -hmm. and for other things like, you know, where the spell is going to wear off or things like that, you know, so. And it's a, uh, yeah, fun app to use. And this, the last one is actually a, yeah, a little silly app <laughs> we, we did. We call it the screenshot app. So basically at the press of a button, you take the screenshot of whatever you see on screen. And it, 
I'll just send it straight to Facebook. So I mean, if I'm logged into my account and uh, I just own my friend, and then yeah, I can just you know show him how badly he was owned. <laughs> or after so yeah. many hours of raiding, you finally got the boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Click, For bragging rights, just one click. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah. So that's uh, what the new keyword is all about. When we can we expect it on, um, on the shelves? Soon, so in September-ish, um, next month, you should see it on the shelves. So you can definitely be sure that you'll be able to put it on your Christmas list for the end of the year. There shouldn't be any any problem. Just yeah, yeah, to, to give a safe date. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good. Well, thanks uh, for the information.